Hi guys, welcome to AC Technical. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a dual boot Windows 2 drive supporting UFI and legacy BIOS. Before you continue this procedure, ensure that your laptop's motherboard supports both legacy and UFI boot options. If not, then it will not work on your computer. Okay, so let's get started. At first, you will need to download Windows 10 IUC image file from Microsoft official website. And you will need to download Rufus to create a Windows 2 USB. This is a SATA M.2 SSD with a SATA 3 M.2 SSD enclosure connected with an external USB 3.2 attached SCSH storage device. I will be using this device as a Windows 2 drive. If you want, you can use any certified or non certified USB storage device to do that. At first, go to Windows Disk Management to initialize your external disk in an MBR partition style. After that, allocate your external drive. Alright, now our external drive is completely ready to use. Now open the Rufus. If your external USB storage device is not showing, then click on show advanced drive properties and check this box to see list of all USB storage device. Okay, now you can select your external USB storage device. Now select your Windows 10 IS image file. After that, select Windows to go under image option. Note, in order to support both UFI and legacy boot, we have to select the option MBR partition scheme for BIOS or UFI under partition scheme and target system type option. Now check this box if you have old system BIOS, if not, then just leave it. After that, select NTFS under file system and cluster size default. Once done, click on start. Now select the version of your Windows 10 and click on OK. Now read this warning message carefully. If you agree, then click on OK. Now be patient until the instruction process is completed.
all right now our 12 boot windows to code right supporting ufi and legacy bios is completely ready to boot from that and remember before you boot from this 12 boot drive you will need to disable the secure boot option otherwise it will generate the secure boot error Alright, this is the system version and this is the NTFA system version for UFI base. Now I'll be testing this 12 boot Windows to drive on my laptop. At first, go to your PC's BIOS. and select your external USB storage device as primary boot device to boot from that. After that, change the boot mode, legacy or UFI. And remember, before you boot in UFI mode, you will need to disable the secure boot option. Note, if the secure boot option is grayed out in BIOS, then at first you have to set supervisor password or administrator password. Ok, let's do that. At first, set supervisor password option and press enter. Now type your new password in this first blank and press enter. Next, retype your password and press enter to confirm. Ok, now as you can see, the secure boot option is available. Now just disable it. After that, you can remove the file supervisor password and administrator password. Now type your current password in this first blank and press enter. After that, leave these two blanks. Just press enter and again press enter to confirm. Now save configuration changes and exit from BIOS. Alright, now follow the screen instructions to set up your operating system properly.
Now our UFI and legacy BIOS supported, dual boot Windows 2 core USB storage device is completely ready to operate on another PC. After starting the operating system, just update once for necessary device device software to run your Windows efficiently. Also you can manually install all the necessary device device software that are required to run your operating system more efficiently. Now let me show you the system drive information, system bias information and partition style information. Okay, this is the system drive. Okay, as you can see, the system bias shows UFI. And as you can see, the partition style shows MBR. Alright, now let me show you by changing the bias mode UFI to legacy. At first, go to your PC's BIOS. After that, changing the boot mode, you have to legacy. Once done, save configuration changes and exit from BIOS. Now again, go to BIOS. Select your external USB storage device as primary boot device to boot from that. Now save configuration changes and exit from BIOS. Alright, as you can see the boot was successful in legacy mode. Now let me show you the system drive information, system bias information and partition style information. Alright, this is the system drive. Okay, as you can see, the system power is more source legacy. As you can see, the partition styles was appear. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Of course, let us know your opinion. If you have any question, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.